Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing another Tea Time with Fab. And if you're new to my channel, Tea Time with Fab is basically a segment that I do every once in a while, basically like once every two months or so, and I just talk about something that's either very popular at the time or something that you guys want to talk about. So today we are going to be talking about things to do in quarantine. As we look around worldwide, most of us are in self-isolation or some form of quarantine or lockdown, so it is good to try to find positive things to do that are good for us. And today I'm going to be talking about six different things that you can do. And today's tea is the Yogi Roasted Dandelion Spice Detox Tea. This is a dandelion tea that's just going to help detox your system. ASMR. The box of tea. Dandelion. I have my list here, so I'm just going to get started. The first thing on our list is just to simply watch something. Now I have this in two categories. The first one are live streams. A lot of places around the world have started to either live stream their zoos or things like that so that you can have something to watch at home. And it's a really cool experience because it's something that most of us won't always have the chance to do. A couple examples are the Georgia Aquarium, the one in Atlanta, they have a live stream. We were actually watching it last night. We saw the whale shark, just a bunch of different fishes and rays and things like that and it was really Really cool. Another one is the Metropolitan Opera. Last I checked, they were doing shows at night that you could stream. And I'm gonna try to collect them all together to create a list for you down below with different links that you can check out. And then the second category is just our normal streaming services like Netflix and Disney Plus. A few ideas of what to watch on Disney Plus are do a Star Wars marathon, an old movies marathon, a Disney princess marathon, a Toy Story marathon, or simply just watch old cartoons. For Netflix, a couple of things that you can watch are one, Chef's Table. This is a really great show that just shows different chefs around the world and what their environment is like, what inspires them, what are some of their most famous dishes. Riley and I, and then my sister and her husband are obsessed with this show. We get so much inspiration from it. Every time that you watch it, you just really wanna get in the kitchen and make something new and fresh. And it's really just an eye opener to different cuisines and different cultures. We recently saw one where the chef was from Savannah, Georgia. It was really nice to just see all the comfort food and all the just delicious, rich flavors. And the very next day, I ended up making cayenne lemon pepper salmon that was delicious on top of some cayenne cheddar grits. The second thing that you can watch is actually a fireplace. There is about an hour's worth of fireplace footage that you can put on in the background and just have it while you're having a glass of wine or reading something or even just hanging out. The third thing is The Office. I love The Office. It's one of my all-time favorite shows. I have to say that one and Parks and Recreation, I think just really are addicting shows that make you feel good. They got really good and awesome characters, amazing actors, and they're just really good shows to watch. You guys aren't gonna tell me that I left this box here? You're not part of my aesthetic? The fourth thing that you can watch is the Great British Baking Show. It's just a really wholesome food competition, but unlike many other food competitions, it's not super crazy and hectic and kind of got a little bit of a negative vibe. You actually feel really good after watching this. And then the fifth one is an Indiana Jones marathon. Honestly, those are great movies. They're old flicks, so it's really nice and kind of nostalgic. And I believe they have all of them on Netflix now. The second thing that you can do in your isolation is read something. Read something that you've already read that makes you feel good or read something new or read something inspiring. A couple of my favorite books are one, The Blood of Flowers. It's about a woman that has a craft for making carpets. I believe it's told in 17th century Persia from what I looked up, but it's a really good feel good and empowering book. Another one is Ender's Game. This is for my people that are a little bit more into like sci-fi. It's such a cool story. I remember watching the movie and just being like so underwhelmed because they didn't capture it at all. That book is one of the best written things that I've ever read. Another book is Love in the Time of Cholera. That one is a classic. It's definitely maybe not so much a feel-good book, but it's just like one of those classics that you have to read every once in a while. 
And then there is a fiction book series about Roman women and different generations of women in ancient Rome that's written by the author Kate Quinn. I love those stories. They are a little bit more adult just because, as we know, Rome wasn't the friendliest of places. But it really is a good book series and I love just getting an idea of what women went through in ancient times. Number three is go outside. Now a lot of places like us here in Orlando, Florida are on lockdown which means that if you are a non-essential person, you're not in the medical field or in some form of sanitation or something like that, then you are supposed to stay home. However, this does not mean that you cannot go outside. A couple things that you can do outside is one, do some gardening. Is there something that you've been maybe wanting to transplant to another location? Do you have some fruit or veggies that you need to pick or you want to plant some fruit or veggies? Now is a really good time to do that. It's very peaceful very soothing and it's very satisfying to actually grow something with your own hands. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like but you need supplies for that and I can't just go to the store and blah 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 blah. Well in some places you can still go to the grocery store and the other thing is you can just order some things online. They are gonna take a little bit longer but when it gets there it is something that you can do as like a fun project. The second thing that you can do is just go for a walk. Walk your dogs, walk with your kids, walk by yourself, walk early in the morning, walk walk late at night safely, but just go outside and walk. Do some form of like a low impact exercise like that that's just gonna get you breathing, just having nice fresh air, listen to a podcast, listen to music, or just listen to nothing. And another thing to do outside is just to have a cup of coffee or tea. Just sit outside, sit on your driveway, pull out a chair, sit on a bench, however you want, sit on the ground. Just sit down and have a peaceful moment outside. Okay, the fourth thing to do in your self-isolation is to deep clean and organize. Now you cannot sit there and tell me that every single inch and corner of your house is spotless. It's not. I know it's not. So take this extra time to deep clean things that you wouldn't normally do. A couple things that you can clean are your closet, your makeup, does it need to be sanitized? Do you need to clean the drawers that it's in and the organizers that it's in? Or the packaging itself? Clean fan blades air vents, rugs, you can dust all your wall hangings and your frames, the top of your frames, mirrors, things like that. Organize some of your drawers and then you can also just sew up all that clothes that's had that little hole or that little button missing that you're like, oh, I'll get to it, I'll fix it. Now is the time, sew that button on. Number five is hobbies and business. Now I'm gonna break this one down into two different parts. For hobbies, just take up that hobby that you've been wanting to do. Have you been wanting to learn the piano? Have you been wanting to learn how to sew? Have you been wanting to learn how to paint? Now is a great time to do that. There are so many online classes and free videos even on YouTube that you can watch and learn from. Some other hobbies that you can do is just taking up cooking, taking up different exercises. Definitely you need to be moving in your house and keeping your body busy. The second part is business. Do you have a business that you've been wanting to start? Do you have a business that you've been wanting to grow? Now is the time for that. Do your research. Do all the learning that you need to do to create that business or grow that business. To be able to do that, all you really need is the discipline now because you have the time. So there's no more excuses. You have all this free time. So just sit your butt down and discipline yourself and get that business started. Mic drop. And the sixth and last thing that you can do in this time of self-isolation is to slow down. Disconnect from media, social media, and connect to loved ones, connect with yourself, but just slow down. Take time to show gratitude for things, all the things that are positive right now, all the silver linings of the situation. Take the time to meditate on those things and to upbuild yourself. Reach out to all those loved ones that you just never really have the time, all those friends that you just wonder how they're doing. Check on them, text them. I'm pretty sure that almost everybody in the world is doing the same thing that we're doing and self-isolating. Check on the people that aren't self-isolating. Check on the delivery people, the people that are working in grocery stores, the people that are working on the front lines in hospitals. Check on those people too, see if they need something. It's very satisfying to help others. 
social media can really make you feel like your life is rushing like you're missing out on things and it can be very overwhelming especially in a time like this where there isn't really much that you can do just remember to take deep breaths and to slow down And that's basically it guys. So if you guys have any other ideas or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I know that this is a really difficult time right now and I know that a lot of people are going really crazy right now stuck in their homes. So we're gonna help each other get through this and remember that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Positive vibes and clear skies. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you for sharing your cup of tea with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.